the Chiefs have told us, good, why do they keep the logo bringing players from the development? What's up with the style of bringing players from the development? Oh, um, I want to give you an update concerning Ucho Miyabana. <laughs> no, no, I will show you. He's a former Kaza Chiefs player. Okay, we'll talk about it. Mvala has apologized. So we'll unpack all of those things, provided that you're interested. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys, and that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of those things? You need to do it because, I mean, doing it, guys, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. Okay, we start with Mvala. I don't see the reason why he apologized. Honestly, I don't agree with him apologizing. Uh, I saw how he scored that goal, but I don't agree with him apologizing anyway. So, yeah, but he's apologized anyway. He said the following. Uh, 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 um, well, I feel sorry for him. I, look, but, uh, okay, those were things that I said that I feel sorry for him, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mistake happened in football, but um, well, uh, you know, he's apologized saying that no. Uh, <laughs> um, well, no, he apologized to the fans and to everybody that associated with the club for what happened. He did not intend to hurt the club so much so that they get eliminated in the in, in this in this cup but yes um yeah he's apologized and i don't agree with it it was just a mistake that anybody can do so i feel like um he doesn't even need to justify himself for that to for me yeah, that was just an honest uh, mistake that anybody could have made speaking about that uh, remember that he was training with captain city do you remember that Right. Sources speaking to Ifa Post have revealed that, yeah, some good things are happening there. They say he was training with us earlier this season. He is in a rehab program. When when he is right, he's going to come uh, back and train with us, said Ukome team. Right. So sources have revealed that, yeah, in Captain City, they are more than willing to sign him. It appears like he's been doing well in the rehabilitation phase. And because of that, in Captain City, I believed uh, to be training, to go, trying very hard to you know, go to uh, make sure that he end up playing back at Cape Town City. Speaking about that, Carter Chips on his channel, and why do you guys keep on bringing young players into you know, develop, development? Like other teams are buying cream players, and you let you just go to a development. Why? This is what Uzwan has got to say. Uto, 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 yeah. Utuga Uzuan explaining the situation. Uti, we just have to find a way. One of the reasons we resorted to dev local development was because of that. We didn't want to rely more on what other teams are giving us when we want those players. Usho Uzuan in a press conference. We also wanted to help our uh, our youngsters from the development to get the opportunity to play of or, or look, of which most of them, when they were given the opportunity, I think. They exerted themselves and I, I will grow from there. Yeah, Utu Kubegele will acknowledge that has been a bad season. So, in other words, they are just saying that you no, know, one of the reasons why they opt from they opt to bring in uh, young players, it is simply because uh, when you want a player from it, a certain team, they don't give you what you want. Sometimes you get those players, sometimes you don't, and they don't like that. So they're like, hmm, why don't we develop our own players? Wait, what's your take about all of that? Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think. I'll see you on the next video. But until then, please take care.